This is Carlos Garcia, who's going to tell us about what he feels the world should know about war through his own experience in being in Iraq. Go ahead. Um, I guess I can really give two perspectives on uh, war. Uh, one from a 20-year-old uh, young man, um, militarily trained uh, to fight and to be ready to fight and to understand that there's nothing else really that matters. Um, it's a lot different of a perspective than I do now or that I had when I got out of the military. When you do start to question um, different situations, um, for instance the biggest one being why we went to war in the first place. Uh, and when you start becoming more knowledgeable and understanding those things, uh, it's a little bit difficult, I think. Um, I don't believe that maybe knowing those things when I was 20 would have allowed me to join the military as quickly as I did at the age of 18. Um, there's no words to ever really attach to the experience, uh, the things that I saw. Um, you're trained to understand and believe that what you're going to see, um, you can just get over it uh, and keep moving forward. Uh, in my instance, that was kind of a coping mechanism to not think about the death and the dying, uh, the destruction. Um, and so it worked while I was there. Uh, however, uh, once you return back home and there is that time to think about things, it becomes a little bit more difficult. Uh, more difficult to cope with the emotions and the feelings um, and trying to reintegrate into a world that's completely different. Uh, a world that for many soldiers seems just very muted. I think I was one of the fortunate ones in that I returned home and began a job as a firefighter and a paramedic. Uh, so my life did continue on a pretty fast pace and um, I guess pretty exciting in a way, some can describe. Uh, and I think that helped my reintegration into what we call the civilian life. Uh, but for a lot of others, um, that just wasn't the case. Uh, so difficult was that reintegration for others that uh, we see such a high suicide rate these days. Um, family problems and uh, increase in um, alcohol abuse and uh, you know a lot of other things that while not may not seem to be significant factors in the daily lives of these individuals, it is because they weren't that way. Um, they weren't that way before they left, before they experienced war. Uh, I think my message to the world really is that um, the best thing we can do is to try and understand these soldiers coming back. doesn't matter what reason they went over there, whether it was for a love of their country, whether it was political, whether it was a passion or the best way for them to get a job after high school, I don't think those reasons really matter. I think what really matters at this point is to help understand them, help understand the issues and the problems that they're coming back with, and how we can best help them uh, to resolve those issues. And that's why you're going into psychology now, I think, is to uh, better inform the public. Yes, that's correct. Uh, after those experiences and, and knowing I always had an interest in psychology, I felt that I could really better help to lead that path, uh, being that I've been in that situation, uh, that I've had those experiences, and knowing that uh, a lot of these returning uh, soldiers and vets uh, find it very difficult uh, to seek help and to talk to others about their experience because, well, as I mentioned earlier, there's no words to really describe. Uh, and for them, the mentality is, is us against them. Uh, what we know, what we've seen, no one's going to understand. So I think they much it'd be much easier for them to open up and for them to be able to discuss what they've been through uh, with someone that's, that's had the similar experiences.
Thank you.